The Ryzen 3 DV Cache CPUs have been the gaming kings in terms of price performance in their price brackets as soon as they get released, starting with the 5800X 3D, going then to the 7800X 3D, 7900X 3D and 7950X 3D. But it seems that a new challenger is coming. Performing the same as the 5800X 3D, that is currently the best seller in terms of CPUs around Amazon and some other stores, but way, way more affordable. Basically, like today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So recently some rumors have been surfacing the internet with kind of a leak, let's call it a leak, but take it with a big grain of salt, that one of the most requested CPUs from gamers, which should be the Ryzen 5 5600X 3D, is actually coming. Maybe because AMD has some spare dice that, that they want to sell, maybe, but nonetheless, it is a huge, huge thing for PC gamers. And why? Well, it's kind of easy because you'll be able to buy a CPU, a very affordable CPU that performs like some of the top tier CPUs that you can still use on your older motherboard from 2017. And according to the leaks, and it actually makes sense, the Ryzen 5 5600X 3D will have exactly the same L3 cache amount as the 5800X 3D, and we're talking about 96 megabytes. And it seems that only the dual CCD CPUs, in this case the Ryzen 9 7900X 3D and the 7950X 3D, have more L3 cache, and the ones with single CCD have only the same 96 megabytes of L3 cache, which is actually more than enough for today's gaming. And let's say, if this CPU scales the same way as, it, the, as the Ryzen 5 5600X does with the 5800X, then this will be great, because both have around the same performance in terms of gaming, usually around the same performance, and if the 5600X 3D has also around the same performance as the 5800X 3D in terms of pure gaming, at least very close to it, the Ryzen 5 5600X 3D at 200 bucks will be a major deal. And you might actually say that this is not gonna happen at $200, never, ever in the history of ever, but actually, it might actually happen, because currently we have the 5800X 3D on 200, at $289 on, on Amazon and $299 in Newegg, while the 5600 non-X is $129 on Amazon and the 5600X is $149 on Amazon. So if we're talking about $50 over the 5600X current price, well, it doesn't seem that crazy, does it? It actually seems pretty okay, $50 above the current price of the non-X 3D version. So if we do have a Ryzen 5 5600X 3D at 200 bucks, performing around the same as the 5800X 3D that already performs around the same as the 7700X, this will be crazy. We're talking about gaming performance, of course, only pure gaming performance, but this will be crazy. It means that you'll be able to have a CPU performing around the same, let's say, within 10% of the 7700X, while costing $200. And that would be insane. And you can just buy a super cheap motherboard and you can just use your motherboard for, from even 2017 and use this CPU, meaning that you don't really have to uh, upgrade your motherboard, your DDR, your DDR kit, you can just use your current DDR kit AM4 motherboard, just grab the CPU, this very affordable and cheap CPU, grab it, put it on your motherboard and it will work fine, fine and dandy while consuming a very good amount of power. That's just insane. But sadly, there's not really much more to say about it, uh, because we do know that AMD started the 3D Vcache technology uh, with, a, with a 5950X 3D, which was the, um, the CPU that AMD actually presented, but then they kind of went back and just sold the, the 5800X 3D 
okay? But there are, there are still lots and lots of AM4 motherboards, and if they do have spare dice for the 5600X, they can just do the same as they do with the 5800X 3D, and do make indeed a 5600X 3D, and they'll easily sell because, once again, they're affordable, cheap, they perform very well, the amount of power draw is low, and you can just use it in almost any motherboard, any AM4 motherboard that you have, the current motherboard that you have, a cheap motherboard that you can get for, let's say, $35, and it will work flawlessly out of the box. So, I do believe that this is true, and the 5600X will come to kind of, the 5600X 3D will come to kind of end the, the AM4 platform, so we'll have the 5600X 3D, and the 5800X 3D as the best AM4 performance, and then we'll go, uh, and then we'll start, let's say, so they will close the M4 platform, and then we will start once again with the 7000 series and AM5. That's what I think, and that's a very good move from AMD if they do have spare dice, um, because once again, at $50 over the 5600X price, it's a killer deal, definitely. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Once again, take this with a big grain of salt because we only have an image of that. <laughs> I could do that, so I could go to Excel and just, well, write some specs on the on the supposedly uh, going to be released 5600X 3D. Um, but, I mean, it seems to be true, and it can actually be true, it's not something that, that we would call stupid because it is very plausible to happen, uh, and it would be definitely a delight for gamers and maybe AMD is kind of doing this to to kind of fight Intel on the lower end market because Intel has been actually uh well Intel has been actually the best performance the press the best price performance in terms of lower tier and even more when we go for the 13400F the i3 12100F 13100F those CPUs are great great deals in terms of price performance and maybe uh, AMD wants to get some markets out of those CPUs, uh, some market share from Intel out of those CPUs to go for the, the 5600X 3D. Maybe, I don't really know, but maybe so, it is plausible to happen. Once again, take this with a grain of salt. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and leave in the comment section your opinion about the 5600X 3D and sorry about my, my talking today, I'm kind of... I'm kind of rusty and I don't really know why. Uh, I don't kind of feel like recording, but I actually wanted to make this video because it seems like it's gonna happen. And if if this does happen, I will definitely test the 5600X versus the 5600X 3D versus the 5800X 3D. Yes, it will definitely happen. So yeah, it will be nice to test. And once again, comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about um, the possible 5600X 3D CPUs uh, and, if they, and if you think they would sell or not like hotcakes, because I think they will, or I think they would. Yeah. With all said and done, see you in the next video.